kindergarten. It's Mrs. Griffith. I'm back again for a little bit more work with you. Um, this week we have talked about Vinny Volcano and the V sound and Zelda Zebra and the Z sound. So we have V and Z. Okay. So today I'm going to do a little word building with you, a little presto changeo. This is something you should be doing with mom and dad at home as well, um, using all of the letters we've studied. But today, let's do a little bit of work with v and z. So I'm going to build a word starting with v. I'm going to start with Vinny Volcano's letter. So I've got the v. And I want you to push these sounds with me as I put them out. I want you to stay with me and push sounds as they go. So, v, a, n. So say it with me, blend it with me. Van. Say it fast. Van. We rode in a van. Okay? We rode in a van. Now, what if I changed it, presto changeo, and I said, what if I took the n off the end? So I've got that, that, that. There was a big vat of pickles. A big vat is a big container that holds something. Often food or drink. So there was a big vat of pickles in the factory. Okay, so we've got at that. Okay, now I'm going to take out the middle sound. Press no change. So now we've got. Well, you can't have a word with two consonants, right? You have to have a vowel. Right? is not a word. So let's put another vowel in there and let's see if we can change the word. Now we've got the eh, eh, short e. Eh, what's the word? Et, say it fast. Vet, vet. I had to take Finnegan to the vet the other day. Actually, I really did have to take Finnegan to the vet the other day. He had to get a shot. So we went to the vet. Okay, very good. Now, what if I changed it again and I said, let's make a nonsense word this time. What if I put a Z there? What would that, what would that word be? That's a nonsense word. It is zet. Zet. Ha! That's a nonsense word. Not a real word, but here's a real word. If you have older brothers and sisters, they probably have one or two of these and they probably don't like them. You know what this word is? Well, now we have the i. I. Icky, icky, i. Short i in the middle. Now it's a z it zit zit. Oh, do your older brothers and sisters maybe have zit? That means a little mark on their face. And teenagers get those, and then after a while they kind of go away. But for a while, they have these little red marks on their faces called zits. So one of those would be a zit zit. Now, what if I took the z away and I put a p there? What would that word be? P it. Pit. Like I found a pit of a cherry, maybe, in my, well, I found a pit of a cherry in my cherry. Okay, now, what if I took the t away? 
So now, now this is not a word. It's just pi. Pi, that's not a word. It needs an ending sound. I'm going to put this at the end. G. P. Ig. Pig. Good. Pig. And then I could take the p away. So now I have ig. And I could put, I'm going to put Zelda zebra sound at the beginning of ig. Zig. Zig. Like a zigzag, right? What, what vowel would I have to put in? What letter would I change if I wanted to make that word zag? This is zig. What letter would need to be in the middle to make it zag? Zag. Yes. I would have to have an A in the middle. Zag. Zag. Zigzag. All right, so kindergarten, you can do some building with mom and dad, just like we've done here. Just put letters out. Mom or dad can put some letters out, build a letter, a consonant, vowel, consonant word for you, and then change one of the sounds and change the word. Presto chanto, it's a brand new word, okay? So that's something that you can be doing and should be doing. Now, just a reminder, today for writing you're working on your graphic organizer for your informational writing so on Tuesday you should have written your notes on your graphic organizer in complete sentences and you should have done your habitat that's where your animal lives and you should have done food, okay? That's the food that your animal eats. Today, Thursday, you're going to be working on the description of your animal. That's why we have the glasses there. What does your animal look like, right? Describe your animal for me. And then an interesting fact something that you learned about that animal that you just thought was really cool all right this graphic organizer is a turn-in assignment your mom and dad are going to post this for me on google classroom by friday okay so i want to read your facts about your animal i can't wait to do that can't wait to see what animals you chose Oh, normally I would be right there with you and we'd be working on it together, but I, this is going to be a surprise. So it will be fun. All right. So word building with Z and V, finishing up the graphic organizer and uh, happy Ascension Thursday. Okay. Bye kindergarten.